In this video, we're gonna quickly go over how to do one and two point perspectives. There's a couple of things they have in common and a couple of differences that they have. I wanna make sure we're clear on all of them. So we take a look at one point perspectives to start off with here. Uh, the first step always is to start with a horizontal line. That horizontal line that you start with is called a horizon and that happens for one and two point perspectives. Um, but just for this one, make sure it's, you're happening with one point perspectives. Once you have that, you're going to draw a single point on that horizon. That point is called the vanishing point. Once you have that accomplished, you're gonna draw your front view. So if I'm drawing this cube, which I'll do in just a minute, I wanna draw the front view, which is gonna just be a square here. Uh, we'll add on our right and top views in just a moment. Uh, once you have that drawn on there, you wanna draw construction lines back to your point. And we'll make that a little bit more clear here in just a moment. And then finally, uh, add your right and top views. Uh, so let's go through an actual working of this and see how it functions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna draw in my horizon point. Once I have my horizon drawn, I'm gonna add a point. Uh, it can be anywhere on that line, doesn't matter, just needs to be on that line. And generally what you wanna do is you wanna draw your front view to the left or to the right of that point. Since I drew my point on the right, I'm gonna draw my square down here on the left. So I'm gonna start off with my front view and that's roughly my front view. Uh, if you're going through and actually drawing it, you'd measure it out and make sure it's correct. But in this case, that's what I'm gonna uh, go with uh, for right now. Then I'm going to take construction lines from any of the corners back. Uh, so I have four corners. I'm gonna draw my construction lines back to that single point. The only one I'm not really concerned about right now is this bottom left corner because it's going to actually go through the part and I don't want that. I just want the outside edges. So I'm gonna leave that alone because it's gonna be blocked out anyway. Um, at this point, I need to draw my front and top views. Uh, so I have my front ready to go. I need my right and my top uh, in there. So I need to add any vertical lines. They're gonna stay vertical and any horizontal lines. Remember, if we look at this, it's a horizontal line. They stay horizontal. The only things that are on angles here are going to be our depth marks. Uh, so to begin with, let's draw our top view and get that set up in there. And you're really just estimating how far back you think they are. Uh, you, this is totally up to you what you think looks good. There's some math you can do to figure it out properly, uh, but I'm not concerned about us going through that. I just wanna be able to find out the general idea of what I'm looking at, because there's really no right or wrong uh, as long as you're getting the basic concepts down. So I drew a horizontal line in the back, which represents my line on my front view, or on my top view, excuse me, back there. And then that point connects down and I wanna drop a vertical line from that. So I'm gonna take my point and drop a vertical line down. Now at this point, all I need to do is go back in and connect my lines. One, two, and three. And this is why it's important to draw those lines going to the vanishing point, because without them, you wouldn't be able to connect those points very easily or draw the lines originally to begin with. But that's a one point perspective. Now you can see it's a little skewed, it's a little out of whack, it's not a perfect cube, and it's never going to look perfect. Uh, with these drawings, you're always gonna have a little bit of uh, wiggle room, which is nice because it's hard to get something wrong here. So let's take a look now at a two point perspective and see how that works. Again, you're always gonna start with a horizontal line, that's called a horizon line. Instead of one point this time, with a two point perspective, you're gonna draw two vanishing points on your horizon. From there, you're gonna draw a vertical line that represents your tallest height. And that vertical line should be a construction line to start off with. On this part, it doesn't matter that much, but on other parts, it will matter a whole bunch. From there, you're gonna draw construction lines back to both of the vanishing points, and you'll complete your front, top, and right views. So let's go in here and draw it now and see what we can get. Uh, so I'm gonna start off by drawing my horizon line. I will draw two vanishing points one on the right and I'll add another one on the left. And then I can go in and draw a construction line that is my tallest height, which I've done there. From that point, I'm gonna take construction lines and draw them back to the vanishing point. So the top of this line is gonna go back to each side and the bottom of this line is gonna go back to each side. So I have the initial point set up. This line right here, where the corner is kind of at, represents the front corner of my part. So I like to start off with my front view all the time, so that means I need to add a line over here and connect the dots. Remember, on one and two point perspectives, any vertical line will stay vertical. Um, it's true of both of them. The only difference between one and two point now is that 
there's no horizontal lines uh, to be represented inside of this. In a one point, there is horizontal lines. In a two point, there is not. Uh, so I have this. I need to drop in my vertical lines. And I'm going to do this as a visible line because that's what it is, the visible line. I'll drop that in there, and I'm going to darken in my front line as well. So I have the two lines of my views done. I just need to connect them with a line, which I can do here. And that will complete the front view for my part. Again, it's going to look a little funky. It may not look perfect. That's okay. Now we need to uh, get our right view drawn in there, and we need to figure out how to do the top. Uh, so the front view is done. The right view is pretty easy. It's basically the same thing. I have a vertical line in the front. I need to do a vertical line in the back. Again, you can estimate where that's at. I'm going to say it's roughly there. I don't really know. Uh, but that's okay because we're just doing some estimations. And then I have lines that connect those two together. So I'll go in and connect those. So one and two. The last piece that we need to do is figure out how to do the top view. We know what it's supposed to look like, but how do we do that on here? The process is pretty simple, but there are a few little tricks that you need to know. Our original vertical line that we drew, if there are any corners that meet on the right side of that vertical line, we need to take that corner and run it back to the vanishing point on the left. So I'm going to take the vertical line that we have a corner there that happens to the right of my original vertical line. I'm going to bring it back to the left vanishing point. If I have any corners that happen on the left side of my vertical line, I need to bring them back to the right vanishing point. So I just have this one corner here. It's going to go back to the vanishing point on the right because it crosses over our visible line there or our vertical line there. Uh, we don't worry about these two bottom corners. Even though we drew corners, we don't have to worry about them because those show the insides of an object. And if we look at our isometric here, we don't see those lines. So I'm not worried about them. And then it's just a matter of going in and darkening up the lines that are supposed to be visible. I have uh, a line here which represents this guy right there, and it goes back to a cross mark, which will interact with the line right there. So I'm just gonna go in and connect those dots. And then I have a two point perspective for my cube done. Again, these are gonna be a little funky, they're not gonna look quite right, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but these are how you do one and two point perspectives. Always, always, always start off the horizon, then add in your points or your vanishing points, and then either start off with your front view or start with your tallest height. Then from that point, you take your lines or endpoints back to the vanishing points, and then you start drawing out the views that are needed. It's not a hard process, but it does take a little bit of practice. And uh, if you have problems with it, please let me know. But that's the basic setup for what we're doing here.